Many algorithms have been recently proposed for segmenting meshes. While many existing mesh segmentation methods can find a good initial conceptual part to composition of the mesh, the boundaries between these parts often remain subpar. These boundaries might not only pass in undesirable locations, but also are often jagged, being constrained to pass through the vertices. This paper proposes an algorithm for advancing and deforming the segment boundary curves directly, while respecting the underlying mesh geometry. It is able to overcome these drawbacks by allowing the curve to advance to more appropriate locations and cut through the mesh edges. This improvement is most evident on coarse or highly irregular meshes, in which the mesh triangulation inherently introduces curve jaggedness. Our algorithm is based on active contours, also known as snakes, which are widely used in images. Snakes are dynamic curves that deform by minimizing an energy functional. A major contribution of our work is the extension of the level set framework for snakes from images to meshes. Mesh curves, or segment boundary curves, can be defined explicitly as sets of points on a surface. We extend the level set framework to work on meshes by defining the mesh curves implicitly as level sets of a higher dimensional function defined on the mesh surface around the curves. Updates to this function propagate the curves accordingly. To improve upon a given segmentation, we attract the curves towards the perceptual part boundaries using the geodesic flow, which also smooths the curves during the process. As the curves can cut through the mesh edges, the result is a smoother, better defined segmentation. In the paper, we have shown improvements of several results produced by some of the state-of-the-art segmentation algorithms. Some of these algorithms include a post-processing stage for improving the segmentation, and yet we have managed to improve upon them further. Determining the exact boundaries is vital for certain applications, such as animation, modeling, and skeleton extraction. Our algorithm's versatility is demonstrated by realizing it in three additional applications. Interactive segmentation, texture segmentation on manifolds, and local constriction detection. In interactive mesh segmentation, the user draws an initial boundary curve on the mesh surface, which the system attempts to improve. This movie also illustrates the inherent capability of our method to handle topological changes, such as splitting and merging, in the curve during the process. Most mesh segmentation algorithms are designed from a purely geometrical viewpoint, and perform independently of any overlay texture. However, there are many cases in which the texture can carry additional information. Our algorithm can be used in this case, by slightly changing the propagation rule to take color into account. This has the benefit of freeing us from the need of an underlying texture image for the segmentation, or a parameterization of the mesh. In this example, the Klein model demonstrates the framework's ability to handle non-orientable models. As a final application, we demonstrate constriction detection. Finding the local constrictions of a thin structure often plays an important part in its analysis. In this case, the flow propagation should depend only on the curve length and not on an attraction to any mesh feature. Here, constriction detection on a human femur bone is shown. The resulting curve is smooth, partially thanks to its ability to cut through the mesh edges and is locally the shortest closed geodesic. To summarize, we've presented a novel algorithm for improving mesh segmentations, which can be used by any algorithm as a post-processing step. In addition, several benefits result from using our algorithm, such as removing the need for a parameterization, handling non-orientable meshes, handling merging and splitting of curves during the process automatically, and enabling the curves to cut through the mesh faces, thus smoothing the curves during their propagation.